Okay, I'm standing here. I'm I'm in a window talking to you. Um, this is because I'm too darn lazy to set up all the lights and do everything that I usually do when I film a video because it's the end of the day. Um, I, what can I say? I'm only human. There's only so much I can do some days. But I wanted to get this video together and uh, it, it didn't really wind up the way that I thought it was going to wind up, but it is what it is. And so I'm putting it together for you. And <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's jump into the video for today. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty, and this is my handmade lifestyle. Today is a big day for me. I graduated with my Master Gardener's um, full full master gardeners, accolades, training. I'm bona fide. I'm a full master gardener for the city of Virginia Beach, and I'm so excited about it. I admit there were times I didn't think it was going to happen, but it happened, and here I am. To celebrate, I'm heading over to Joanne's, of course. Where else? I signed up to do my first ever stitch along and um, here's the pattern. It's through uh, Jessica Long, who is Namaste Embroidery. And I found her through one of the uh, blueprint classes that I've been taking. And I've connected with her <clears throat> on um, Instagram and I'm on her email list and everything. And so she's doing this stitch along with a new pattern and it's, it's all stitches I'm familiar with at this point. So I was like, I'm going to do it. So, um, I'm not going to show you everything because it is a, it's a paid for pattern. Um, but she gives you a color key. Hold on. Okay. So you get this color key. And those are all um, DMC floss colors. So I'm basically gonna do a DIY kit uh, and go on in and um, get the colors. I mean, I could, you know, I could cheat it and do whatever, but I kinda wanna um, get the recommended colors. It's like if I'm going to knit a pattern, I do like to use the recommended yarn. I know everybody substitutes, but you know, you never get exactly the same thing when you make substitutions. So um, I'm going to get those floss colors and uh, yeah, and I'll show you what the embroidery section looks like. I'll show you also um, what I get for fabrics when I um, get fabric to do embroidery projects. I've had some questions about that. So let's, uh, let's get ready to go in. But first I will say I'm wearing my um, hand knit shawl. This is the shawl that I wear most of the time. And um, I made this thing like eight years ago and I still wear it all the time. It probably could use a wash, uh, but I knitted with um, Juniper Moon Farms. It's an alpaca. It's also, um, local to Virginia. She's about 200 miles from here. And then this is um, Noro Silk Garden, which, you know, I really like some Noro. I think it's beautiful. So um, I still wear the daylights out of this thing. And my mitts are my uh, own self-designed stripey mitts. Um, and I used wool stock and uh, the blue and the yellow is wool stock. And then um, the yellow, orange, and burgundy and gray are Cascade uh, 220. And this, these are out of stash. And I still have a bunch of it left. So I, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's, let's go into Ann's and um, pick up my supplies. And I'll show you um, what I'm going to get for fabric. Okay, I'll see you inside.
Okay, well, the filming in Joanne's didn't go exactly as planned, so um, as you can tell, I'm back home. Uh, I literally have the camera, which is my phone, uh, sitting on the windowsill, and I'm standing here talking to you in my window because that's where I have the good light, uh, and I'll just show you what I got, and um, that'll be the video for today. <laughs> Okay, I dumped everything out of the bag and wow, I got a lot of stuff. I'm kind of surprised by how much it is. Um, okay, uh, it was a good day to shop because they had stuff marked down and I had um, several coupons that worked. So uh, let me just show you what I got. Um, I found all of my floss for my um, stitch along. I think it's called the Bloom Stitch Along. And um, I will <clears throat> link over to that below. She's doing videos and all kinds of stuff. So I, I wanted to do it. So I got that and then um, I bought uh, half a yard of the linen that I like to stitch on. Um, let me tell you something, it's not cheap. This linen is $20 a yard. Uh, but I only got a half yard and then I got a 50% off coupon. So that was like five bucks. So that's not terrible. You have to buy the stuff on sale. It's the only way. Uh, so that's going to get uh, pressed out and get ready for the project. It's going to be super pretty. So I got that. They had zippers, uh, buy three, get three free. So I got six. Whoop. I'm almost out of battery. So I got, um, I got six. So I got, uh, let's see, what did I get? I got two. Whoop. Two and a blush pink. I got an orange. I got um, two and a light blue and I got a teal. So, um, and I wound up getting everything in 20 inch uh, length uh, because I have discovered it doesn't really, matter if it's too long because you're just going to stitch over it anyway it does, it's fine but if it's too short you're out of luck so um and i want to make some larger bags so that i can actually make uh, new project bags for myself because <laughs> the uh, little round of bags i showed you a couple of videos back i'll link to that below um they, uh, they're not big enough to hold any kind of a project, so they're going to wind up just being like little, I don't know, uh, notions, pouches, or uh, something, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I got 20 inch zippers. I got some more of this cording because I had a 50% off coupon and I really like the natural the best. This stuff is expensive. This was um, $8. So I got it half off, but still eight bucks for this stuff. I didn't realize um, that this was so darn expensive. Um, a new project, I'm doing a collaboration with somebody and I'm not gonna say a whole lot about it. It's for a Mother's Day project. It will be on the blog. I will do some video on it also because I will show the, the painting technique, um, but that's going to be um, down the road. But uh, what she sent me came in um, yesterday. So I was like, all right, let me start getting the rest of my supplies together and uh, have it on hand. And then if the weather clears up, you know, everything will be here. But it involves live plants. So I, I need good weather. I got this jelly roll. Um, this is kind of cool. Um, I did a little bit of something with these, with the Star Trek bags. And um, I've watched a couple of videos on making um, placemats. So I'm going to make my own placemats using these. And what was exciting was I had this set. And I went today to get like another set or to figure out what I wanna have as a contrast fabric to go with these. And um, they, they were all out, except when I was in line, I looked down in the super, super clearance bin and guess what was in there? These were in there and it was um, $7.97. These, these things are expensive. These are like 
um, $15 usually. So yeah, I got these for half off. Okay, all right, I saved the best for last. Um, okay, this is not super exciting, but I got these um, sewing machine needles because, oh, you're gonna lose it. Okay, I got this. Oh, look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at them. You know I had to have that. As soon as I saw that, I was like, I gotta have that. Um, oh my gosh, just look at them. Oh. So um, it's like a flannel and I'm going to make uh, pillowcases. And I mean, I'm making them this weekend. I want this on my bed, like stat, cause I just think that is the cutest darn thing. And I got this to go <clears throat> as a contrast fabric. So on the pillowcase, I'm going to, this will be the body, and then this will be like the, um, the edge. I'm not gonna do the burrito roll-up pillow that uses three strips of fabric. I'm just going to do um, two strips of fabric. I know, I know what I wanna do. Uh, but you'll have to wait to see that. So anyway, um, I got those needles so that I can sew this fabric because it's it's kind of a stretch fabric. I don't know. You're supposed to use you're supposed to use different stuff with different uh, materials. So I got the ballpoint um, to do with these because I made a hedgehog pillowcase. Um, that was my first sewing project when I really got back into the sewing. And um, I, what I learned was I needed to be sewing it as a stretch fabric and I needed to be doing zigzag stitch and I needed the ballpoint needles. So I got all that stuff. Um, I got the ballpoint needles today to go with this, but, and this was half off. So this was only 350 a yard. That's a heck of a deal. Yeah, I got five yards. I just. I had to, I, I couldn't. So uh, yeah, that's my like really crazy uh, all over the place video for you today. I, I'm, I'm making it work, that's all I can do. So I hope you enjoyed um, doing that little bit of shopping with me. It was not what I wanted in the store at all, but you know, we do what we can. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> seeing what I uh, what I wound up getting and um, I'm, I'm super jazzed so um, I think I'm going to like keep this little running list and uh, every time I make stuff from that batch of things I'll write it out I think that might be an interesting that could be really interesting like how many different things can I get out of this one little shopping trip because I got a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to do it because I think that could be very eye-opening to see how many projects can I make for $57 at Joann's. So, all right, that's all I've got for you. <laughs> If you've made it to the end of the video, I, I appreciate it so much. I, I do. I just appreciate you so much. Uh, so that's what I've got. And um, uh, uh, that's it. Happy crafting. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>